So today we're at Vista Grande High School and we're building a shop and a greenhouse for, for the high school kids. And these high school kids um, go to this school, which is uh, Vista Grande High School in Taos, New Mexico. And this school is based on experiential learning. They camp, they do a lot of hands-on building, they uh, do math with applications. They actually built this portion of this shop and greenhouse. And uh, so these kids have a, and they'll be participating with us um, in a couple days each uh, week. They have one day to work with um, uh, skilled people from around the community. And in this case, it is Off Grid Build, who's building um, this shop and greenhouse space. So what, how, what this building consists of are two um, recycled shipping containers, eight foot by 20 foot um, shipping containers that have been set on footings. Um, and then what we're um, doing is we're building a roof structure over the whole thing out of some locally sourced uh, timbers, rough sawn timbers, um, which will be all basically a post and beam structure over this. And then on the south side of this container is going to be a small greenhouse so they can learn how to grow market vegetables and they're probably going to grow the idea is to grow some uh, herbs and vegetables for some of the local restaurants and one of the other high schools that actually has a cafe within it um, it has a culinary arts program and so they're going to link up their their efforts here to provide produce for the culinary arts program at um, a, another high school that's close by. So there'll be a greenhouse on the south side here. Each one of these containers, I don't have the keys to open them, but uh, they're both going to become shop spaces. Right now that container is set up as a small wood shop. This container will probably eventually just contain materials and pro you know projects um, in the works. And then the middle space is going to be open and the roof structure that we're building is going to overhang the containers a little bit and eventually I'm going to try to talk to them, talk them into extending the roof out so they can have an open classroom space yet under cover from uh, the elements, especially the uh, sun in the warmer weather. And um, so basically that, that's the synopsis of this project and what makes this most exciting for, for off-grid build is that we're participating with our local community and um, and we're also uh, we're, we're utilizing some of nature's systems we're integrating nature systems such as um, a greenhouse space that's facing south um, you, uh, we're gonna build a, a wall here against the container we're not sure right now I'm trying to talk them into putting thermal mass against here so and of course the, the floor will be thermal mass and we'll get some um, good heat, a good heat source from the sun. Um, we'll have some passive ventilation in here. Of course, maybe some uh, uh, temperature actuated vents in the greenhouse um, that'll open when it gets too hot. Um, operable doors and windows in here. Um, that's kind of the, the basic um, idea of this project. So here's a drawing that the students designed this project with their math teacher and uh, so what we're looking at is each container is basically in this space here and this is the roof structure that we're building. All these are posts and this is the greenhouse space and we're gonna I'm gonna try to convince them to, re to redesign this greenhouse space a little bit. But, but basically this is it. Um, it's pretty wide. You can see the dimensions on here and there's gonna be a pitched roof out of the timber frame and then we're gonna, we're gonna put a metal roofing on here. We're gonna put gutters on the ends and eventually they're gonna add cisterns to catch the water. And uh, so this is, it's pretty neat. The students here designed this project and they gave me enough information to, to build this and uh, and uh, how Off Grid Build got the project is because I had previously worked on a container, a small container home for a woman, and this was a schematic design that I did for 
a woman and helped her build a house that ended up being very similar to this design. And the school was uh, pretty excited to know that they were hiring somebody, a, a group that has experience with a container type of construction. The students are just, uh, they're, they're not finding enough time um, in their curriculum at the moment to finish this project, but they will be participating one day a week with us. And so each week we're gonna try to get to a point where we have a day where the students can participate in all phases. So we're gonna leave bits and pieces where they can see each phase of the construction. So another thing that we did to stiffen up the structure, because some of you may be able to see that we don't have bracing except for our our temporary bracing, which will come off. 